Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blizzard Moon, of course. Welcome on back to another episode of DayZ. So, of course, we are back at it, and uh, this is uh, episode number three, I believe, of my DayZ walkthroughs. And uh, what I'm hoping for today is to make it to a town and obviously um, get a hold of uh, some goodies. That would be ideal. Um, huh, okay. I'm assuming that refers to my flashlight that I'm currently holding. So I figured out how to activate flashlights and such. So right now it's on. We gotta turn it off. Why waste it, right? So, uh, I watched this one video uh, and um, there was some... Oh, what is that? Is that a zombie? I think that's a zombie. Okay, so, let's, uh, let's avoid the zombie, shall we? <laughs> uh, it sounds like, uh, quite a plan there. So, for the time being, I want to try to make it to, uh, either a city or something where we could locate a few things. So, for example, uh, one of the things we want to locate is a way of, well, first of all, we need food, because we are hungry, as you can see, it says, I feel hungry. So we need food. Second of all, on top of that, we need to find some water. And on top of that, obviously, a weapon would be quite nice. So here's a bus station where it actually says Ostonovka, which means uh, stop in Russian. So that's cool. Okay, so it looks like we've got some houses over here. I probably should not be remaining on the central road because I will most <laughs> likely get <laughs> beat up by uh, other residents of this server. So I should probably try to get myself inside as quickly as possible. Okay, so... Do I have anything? No, no, no. I want to turn it off. No, off. Okay, perfect. Is this door not open? Okay. Looks like that one does not open. What have we here? Uh, looks like nothing that I can actually gather. Looks like we need to catch our breath after all that running. Is this garbage can? Can I open it? Can I interact with it in any type of way? Doesn't look like it. Okay. It's okay. I'm just not having a lot of luck of actually locating uh, usable items within all these residential houses. And that's what's making me sort of nervous. Because I did watch a couple of videos that showcased and said basically that you try, you want to try to make it to a residential area because then you're going to be able to locate some tools. Ooh. We found it. Soda. Nice. Now, you see, this is the issue right now, is that even though we've got a soda, we've only got two more storage points, and we definitely need to get more. So that's why we need to get some sort of uh, either bigger uh, pants or something like that that would hold more items. So that is certainly something that I will be keeping my eye out for, and hopefully we'll manage to actually locate some of that. Okay, so these do not seem to be opening. Neither does this. Okay. Anything in the bookshelves? Nope. Ooh, what have we there? I see something. Come on. No. Wait. Is that just a book? Okay. Those are just books. All right. We got a te uh, television there. We could hang out and watch some TV, I guess. Okay. No. Uh, is it on right now? I think it's on, right? I don't want to be wasting my battery. That's the key. Okay. Perfect. So, actually, you know what I want to do, just in case, is I'm going to go ahead and unequip this. How do I unequip this? Do I just close this? Whoops. Okay, so I think I just put it back in my pocket, right? So there was a battery there as well. Alright, so we've got a soda. At least we know that we can drink something, which is great. So we've got something going for ourselves. So do I want to proceed to that side or continue down this way? Okay, let's head this way. And then if we get ourselves into trouble, we'll definitely kind of know in which direction we could take, or which direction we may take in order to, uh... Oh, gosh! There's a zombie underneath that tree! Oh, gosh, please tell me he didn't notice me. I really hope he didn't. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't, because we walked right by him. Okay, wait. Let's make it our way in there. Oh! Oh, it's a rotten orange. I can't eat that. Right? Badly damaged, 100% remaining. Ugh, that's so gross looking, but I don't know, I guess we gotta eat. Oh man, it's probably gonna be gross. Oh man. You've eaten some rotten orange. 
Well, it's better than nothing. I guess it's some sun sustenance. Oh, there's a rotten kiwi. I know that rotten things are not going to heal us up, though, so that's not really handy. Ooh, we got some new boots or kicks or shoes, I should say. So let's see. Athletic shoes. Brown. Badly damaged. So instead, let's just go ahead and dump those. Since they are badly damaged, there's no point in keeping them around. Whoops. What's going on? Why am I so bad at even walking? I know that our character is feeling hungry. I'm trying to do something about that. I'm trying to find something that could be of sustenance. Not doing a very good job of that, obviously. Okay, nothing there. Can I take any of these pillows or something like that? I'll hit a I'll hit a zombie with a pillow. Be like, pillow fight! Bum, bum, bum. Mortal Kombat. Finish him. Even though if we kill a zombie with a pillow but we couldn't kill him with fists... That would be absolutely ridiculous. That would piss me off, honestly. <laughs> I would honestly be angry about that. Because I'd be like, what? I couldn't kill you with punching you a hundred billion times, but I can kill you with a silly um, pillow? I mean, come on. Okay, so it looks like there's no real point for me to stick around here. I guess we could check this little uh, hut here. Or quite big hut, for that matter. Ooh, what is this? A motorbike helmet. Okay. That could be handy. There we are. Wear that. Ooh! And looky look what we have here. This is very good. Okay, there's another motorbike helmet, actually. Okay, so at least we've finally gotten a weapon in our hands. So this should be quite good. There we are. Got a helmet. And we're ready to rock. You see, now, if we needed to whack something, we could just... Hoo-bah! And that would hurt. Okay, so this looks like some sort of a feeding area. Maybe for chickens or something along those lines. Like a chicken coop. Okay, so. Let me see. I think we can make our way over to here. Check out this big farm. Ooh. Can we hide in this thing? No. You're no longer getting wet. You're getting wet. You're no longer getting wet. You're getting wet. <laughs> so am I or am I not? Okay, so we've made it to here, and now we're no longer getting wet. Let's see what we can find here. Ooh, is that ammunition? A portable gas stove. That sounds like something that would be very handy, I would imagine. No? Huh. Am I unable to actually lift this, or what's happening? Like, I click it. Huh. Can I not place this into here? What was that? Ooh. So then I have to give up my flashlight. A specially designed cooking stove that is portable and lightweight. For use in, camp in camping, picnicking, backpacking, or in remote locations. Where an early transportable means, uh, sorry, means of cooking or heating is needed. So I think I'm going to keep it actually. I know that a flashlight... Oh, I don't know actually. Maybe I should keep the flashlight. Actually, you know what I think we should do? I think what the best thing might be is... I should drink this soda, right? So we could drink the soda. Oh man, we magically can drink without even uh, without even opening the soda. It's a uh, not a cola, <laughs> which is fantastic. Great name. All right, and now, ideally, we want to find a backpack. If we can find a backpack, even a worn one, that would be really cool. So let me see. Looks like the houses continue that way. Or this way as well. I guess what we could do is kind of head, you know, from house to house and slowly but surely explore things. Okay, so what do we have here? Nothing? Okay. Nothing of value here. Ooh, nice. Okay, gloves are always nice. Are we wearing them? Sweet. Okay. And there are some new boots. Or different boots, I should say. Can I not take these? Hmm. That's weird. Alright, I guess they don't want to be uh, detected, these shoes. Because for some odd reason, we can't actually put them on. What if I uh, take off my sneakers? Would I be able to pick up those then? Okay. I think those are probably... Oh, okay, these are worn. So I think it might be better to just keep our sneakers then. Are our sneakers worn down? Oh, whoops. What did that say? Okay, it, it says pristine. So obviously we want to keep the sneakers. At least for the time being. Alright, I just saw a zombie over there, so I want to avoid that area. There he is. Scouring that whole region. 
of the map, so instead why don't we head to this location, which seems to be filled with stuff, so hopefully we'll be able to find some goodies here. Ooh, there's a different helmet here. Uh, is our helmet worn? Badly damaged, actually. Okay, well, let's try this one. Maybe this one's a little better? Okay, it's damaged, but it's not badly damaged. Ooh, we got a screwdriver here. Can I not pick that up? I guess that would take up more room, right? So that's what I'm assuming with a the screwdriver there. Okay. So, let's see what we have in this area. But we're certainly doing far better already. I mean, the fact that we've gotten a weapon, got a drink in our hands, or had a drink in our hands is already good. So we've definitely done far better this time around than we have before. Now, if we could just find some food, that would be really good. Ooh, what have we here? Whoa, that's a payday mask! Okay, that's awesome. I kind of want to wear that. Okay, let's see. That's just really cool. It's a Dallas mask. Ho <laughs> ho Okay, that's pretty cool. Ooh, is that food? Yes, a can of sardines! Dude, you get to eat, my friend! Oh, I have to open it, don't I? Oh man, we need a can opener or a knife or something like that, but ideally a can opener, because a can opener would spill less of our food onto the ground, which would obviously keep our belly fuller. So, I got some wood here. Oh man, so now we have the food, but we need to figure out a way to open the thing. Okay, got some shoes. Those don't look, don't look particularly good. Girls washroom, boys washroom. And I'm assuming this just leads to the outside. Ooh, no, there's still another room here. Wow, this is a very, very large home. It looks like a home that used to be partly maybe a business even, because uh, you can notice that at the front there, there was some little, like, little, like, a bar set up. Ooh. Ter tetra ceiling? I'm not sure if we should eat that, but... Hey, pills, great! Let's overdose. <laughs> not funny! It's just a bad idea, I think. Okay, you have used a tetracillin, uh, or cy maybe it's cycling, actually? Tetracycline, maybe? Hmm, I'm not quite certain on that. Uh, as an antibiotic, so that's pretty good. So, let's head this way now. What is this? Yes! Okay, wait, I know that, yeah, all right, sweet. You see, now we can pick up way more stuff, which is just awesome. All right. I know that we look silly with, uh, you know, such a awesome sauce. <laughs> uh, what is it called? Um, my goodness. Mask and then a child's backpack and stuff. It's sort of a weird look. But hey, it's going to get the job done and that's all that really matters. In fact, I kind of want to try to go grab that screwdriver and then try to use that to open our canned uh, sardines. Because, I don't know, I feel like we could definitely pull that off maybe, right? All right, so let's see. So we're going to go ahead and grab this, and then... Ooh, nice! Okay, so it looks like we lost 69% of the sardines as a result of that, but uh, at least we get to eat a little bit here. Okay, have some sardines, buddy. Come on! You are no longer getting wet, but he's still hungry. Oh, he's not hungry anymore. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Okay, so, we have eaten now. I should probably stay out of the rain, but that being said, I think that it's better for us to continue moving right now, because we're really in an early process right now of gathering resources. So I think I really want to be staying mobile for the time being, and trying to uh, gather and scout for as much resources as I possibly can. Uh, I am completely soaked. My clothes are soaked through. Okay. So I'm assuming we need to now stay somewhere covered, probably. Anything here? Ooh, there's a helmet. But I'm not giving up my mask right now. Our mask is too cool. Ooh, what is that? Is that rope? Yes, okay. Rope is always going to come in handy. I know that for a fact from watching a lot of Survivor Man. And uh, he's taught me well. Mr. L I believe his name is Les Stroud, or maybe it's Les Stroud. He's a cool, co uh, he's a cool guy. And a cool show, too, if you've never watched it. Okay, so I think we could actually stay at this hut here for now. There's a radio. Can I pick that up? No? Okay. And I guess we ought to actually get um, dried here. So I'm assuming... Can I not put this... Huh. Can I put this here? So we are not getting soaked or something? I don't know. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Okay, this is getting weird. <laughs> I know. 
Okay, let me see. I think what I'm meant to do is put all the stuff away first, and then I would be able to actually... Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to take that off in order to stop being soaked. I didn't watch a video about that. How do you stop getting soaked? I'm not sure. Um, that's really weird to me. I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay, so let me just for now stay here for a little while. And hopefully we could dry. Maybe we could dry ourselves on this thing. Okay, so let's see. We've got a lot of options still. We've got that route, of course, towards that house, that house, and that house. So we do have quite a bit of exploration that we can still do. So that's nice. But what is bad is the fact that I have no idea how to stop myself from being soaked. Huh. Again, I... Okay, so can I start putting my stuff back on? Okay, it looks like the rain is stopping, so that's good. I think it would be a good idea for us to get, like, some... Uh, what is it called? A jacket or something. Okay, so it looks like the rain has stopped. Oh, okay, it just sounds like it, but it really has not. Man, that's really bad. That is really, 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 really bad. That I'm not able to actually go out there. You know what? Since we're already soaked as it is, let's rock. We gotta go. We gotta move. We can't stay in a location that is not uh, su supporting us in any way, shape, or form. No sustenance there, nothing of value there, so I gotta move out. Alright, hopefully we'll ha I will find some stuff over here. Oh, okay. What is that? A green hoodie! Sweet! Okay, can I put the hoodie on? Alright, there we are. Awesome sauce, that's much better. What is this? What the heck is that? I have no idea what that is, I swear. <laughs> that just looks kind of creepy. It looks like a really weird animal poop or something. <laughs> I'm not sure, but very bizarre looking, that's for certain. Okay, so, ooh, some new boots. Oh, those look really bad. So I don't want to give up our shoes right now. Is this going to lead to the outside? Yes, it will. Okay, so it's, it's really nice and uh, sunny outside now, so we definitely could use that to our advantage to dry off shortly. Ooh, is that sardines? Canned peaches. Okay, I just heard a zombie. Oh, there he is. Okay, that's scary. Or there she is, I think. Let's head upstairs, see what we have up here. Okay, it looks somewhat safe. So, can't open any of these doors, can I? Okay, so it, it seems like there's a logo that appears to uh, actually be able to click something, but then when you try to, it actually does not work. Okay. So, I think I want to check this hut here. Hopefully that zombie will not notice me. Where'd he go? Or where did she go? Ooh! It's an axe! Wait, I can't pick up an axe? Why? Hmm. I wonder why that is. What is this? Is that a helmet again? I think that's a helmet. Uh-oh. Okay, this is bad. This is very, very, very bad. Okay, wait. Let's put this away. Come on. So, how much space does this thing take up? Oh, you can't carry both, can you? Take the splitting axe. What did it say? Take the splitting axe and do what with it? Okay, I'm not sure. I thought it said split something. I was like, what? Are we going to try to suicide ourselves? That was scary. I didn't know that's even possible in the game, so... Okay, so just to make sure that we don't attract any type of attention, let's close that door. Let's see what we have here. There are plenty of zombies around us now. Oh man, it almost feels like as soon as you begin starting to gather some resources, things start getting out of control. Okay, so let's take a look. So it looks like we got one zombie right there. And then we got a lot of houses over here, so I definitely want to scout that area. Can't open that. However, we can open this. Ooh. Okay, let's try to get to this house safely. I mean, it's really nice to get some close combat weapons. Obviously, ideally, we would like to find some... Ooh, there's a boonie hat. This would probably be handy, so I'm going to take it with me. Because it would probably be help, uh, helpful in, like, you know, blending in with the environment. Ooh, some new jeans. Sweet. So, if I change those jeans... Okay. 
Can I just drop them off then and then put these on? There we are. Okay, nice. Look at that look. <laughs> That's a look of a winning champion right there, ladies and gents. Okay, so we got those jeans that are soaked. Oh, gosh. It looks like this was quite a bloody situation here. Ooh, nice. We got canned spaghetti, canned, canned peaches, and canned sardines. Now, if you put all those three together, that sounds like quite a disgusting meal, but in the zombie apocalypse, everything sounds delicious, I would imagine. Okay, so let's see. Can I open this? No? Okay. So I think we ought to head... Oh, man, it's starting to rain again. Let's run our way over to this house. How do you get inside this place? Where's the door? Uh-oh. Oh, man. Do we want to engage the zombie? I think I want to engage the zombie and see if we can beat this thing up. Boom! Come on! Finish the job! Ooh, okay. I think we just won. I think we just killed a zombie. Our very first zombie! Oh my. Okay, that was quite impressive, I would imagine. I'm happy. I realize now that punching zombies is no good. However, axing them to the head works very, very well. As it does in movies, so that works. Okay, can I use this to dry myself off? Man, who stole the mattress? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Somebody came in here and they're like, Oh, I really need that mattress. Alrighty, so... It looks like for today, we shall finish off this episode of Daisy. We've uh, gotten quite onto a good streak so far. I mean, we faced off a zombie. We've also gathered up quite a bit of resources, including food, which I am very, very glad for. Now, of course, another thing that we need to be concerned with is water. So hopefully in the next episode, we'll manage to find some water and maybe we'll even find some automatic weapons or guns or something like that so that we could have a long-ranged weapon and not just a close-range weapon in the form of, of course our ginormous garden hoe and the absolutely fantastic axe that saved our butt there against that zombie. So with all that being said, of course, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Daisy, please smash that like button, share the videos with your family and friends, and favorite the videos as well. And of course, I will catch you guys next time. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later, alligators.